Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the Paragon 4 EMW or EMD NW2 and EMD SW7s from Broadway Limited. We reviewed the Paragon 3 version a few years ago. Now we have Paragon 4. So let's take a look at what you get in the box starting it now. So clear plastic lid on this and then you have a little flap that you pop open and the locomotive is tucked in here with some foam, a little dehumidifier pack there that you should not eat. Everyone I've ever read says do not eat. So it's a bad idea to eat that for a snack. And at the bottom, like some secret little uh, passageway we have 28 functions listed and it talks about how you can download the full manual and on the other side more functions for standard mode lighting and more information on that other card as well you can pause that if you want to read it but basically there's pro lighting mode on one side and standard mode on the other Paragon 4 locomotives as of late have been equipped with pro lighting mode that is a mode that you can activate with configuration variables in which you can independently control many different lighting features so let's get these little it's like maybe one piece there two pieces wedged together I was getting all the handrails out, and there you have the SP, which is the NW2, and then I'll unbox the SW7 and show that off as well. All right, we got the NW2 and SP up front, SW7 and Milwaukee Road in the back, and you can see why I've combined this into one review. There are just some very subtle, slight variations between the two, but let's go ahead and take a look see if I can kind of keep these both in frame here starting on the rear grab irons to access the crew cab door along with stanchions the coupler in platform stairs tiny tiny windshield wipers you can see there and a cab interior as well on the side you see the compartments for all the maintenance access, the exhaust stack, Southern Pacific along the side, trucks with the fuel tank there, and a handrail to help the crew navigate along the side of this narrow walkway it is separately applied and running up top, along with a horn there. Up front, there's a separately applied grab iron, stanchions, another coupler, there's even a coupler cut lever installed. Very hard to see, but uh, I had to zoom in there so you can see better. But there's a coupler cut lever installed. And as we turn around here to the other side, you can see a separately applied grabs up top. A roof mounted bell or cab, uh, not on the cab, but on the roof of the long hood there headlight which should be LED and more little tiny windshield wipers on that end as well as we focus in on this front one you can see more of the same type of detail just with some slight variations definitely paint scheme obviously but the grill there's a cab or a engine air intake on the front here or on the other one I guess it's a little more subdued As we go up along the sides, you have a taper back towards the cab to increase visibility, which uh, is also on the NW2 as, as well, so not really a change there. And 
And then on the back, there's a headlight. The cab numbers up on each side of the headlight. You have those tiny windshield wipers. A cab interior. Looks like basic detail. I could be wrong on that. It's really hard to tell on N-Scale. But there you have it. So I'll put these two side by side now. and Maybe we can see a little more difference between the NW2 and SW7. Or you can comment below on what you know the differences are of these two locomotives. They both have the grab iron, the bell. They look similar in a lot. Of ways. All right, so Broadway Limited has a st extended startup, and they also have just a startup where you move the locomotive. So it's on address three. So I'll just move it here. That starts it up. So I talked about pro lighting mode. Really, uh, don't want to take too much time to go over that because it's just showing. Some different independent lighting features, but we'll go with the standard mode here. F Zero's headlight, which is working properly. I can show you that at an angle later. One is bell. Two is horn. Longer or shorter you hold it, it changes. Function 22 will change the horn. So we'll go back to the normal horn here. Three's coupler sounds. So you have to get activated when you move. Four is compressor dynamic brake. Five's revving the engine up manually, so it's going to move it up a notch. Every time you hit F5, it goes up one notch. F6 goes down one notch. F8's mute, F9 is the extended startup we talked about, I'll show you that on the SW7. F10's a radiator full cooling fan. Eleven air filling release. Twelve brake set, brake release. So fourteen has station sounds. Fifteen. Yard radio chatter. So anyway, that goes over many of the different sounds. Speed steps, we move along. One speed step, no problem. I'm using an MRC system and I think it hasn't turned off the functions of the decoder for some reason. I think that's on my system end for this end scale. It's kind of why I switched to HO systems, but so one speed step, we move along pretty well here. A little bit of creep. There's two. It's definitely smoothed out. Three. Very, very smooth. I don't have my speedometer set to end scale, but typically the scale speed somewhere between three and five miles per hour on the first speed step of Broadway Limited. Now we've got the SW7 extended startup here.
the same horn. Pretty good movements there. Picks to about speed step two to completely smooth out. Here's a little darker so you can see the headlight. A little better. I believe, um, I don't believe there are cab lights on this, but the headlight does work in both directions. Well, that's going to do it on this NW2 SW7 review of the Broadway Limited Paragon 4. Keep in mind, Paragon 4 has added capacitance. You still have the Rolling Thunder where you can use the subwoofer and just increase decoder function and reliability. As you can see, the Southern Pacific one here is in between some tracks on HO scale. Not quite going to uh, fit on the rails, but in scale does a great job of cramming more things into less space. So if you are an in scaler or want to be one, you can check them out. It's your favorite retailer whether it's online or brick and mortar. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on the channel. Take care. Many of the products you see in this video are available at trainworld.com. Since 1968, this family-owned business has been serving the needs of the modeling community with two New York brick-and-mortar store locations in Brooklyn and Long Island, plus their vast array of online items. Shop 24-7 at trainworld.com.